I thought we were discussing concurrent and continuous auditing module. Why are we talking about stories? My dear friends, stories could be linked with concepts. Remember this tiny stories? Long ago you would have read about it? Well, think about this story and I have converted this story slightly in a different form. This is the user and this is the risk. When we have a user like this and we have the risk like this, don't you think we need to have a control? Yes, the control is called SCARF. The next tool we look into is called SCARF. SCARF stands for System Control Audit Review File. This is where the audit tool goes to the next level and here there is an embedded software module within the application. In simple language, the application comes along with an auditing module which is used for continuous verification and monitoring. Information is collected into the SCARF files and written into a separate master called the SCARF master files. And how is information collected using SCARF and what is the reasons? Information is collected for policy and procedural variances that is to check variances from the existing policy and procedures. It is used for profiling of data that is to build multiple types of profiles of system users. Say for example, a particular user is supposed to always access only A resource. But if he accesses B resource, that would be recorded over here and the data could be profiled based upon this saying that why is that Mr. A or Mr. B is accessing resources other than the intended or always used resources. Irregularities as well can be identified. The third is a performance measurement. Under the performance measurement, it is very handy to measure the performance and it could also be used as a methodology to improvise the performance. Application system errors can be independently identified and independent checks can be put into place. In addition to this, any system exceptions can be separately documented and written down. For example, how frequently is a salesperson overriding the standard price? Such exceptions could be documented separately. Statistical samples can be taken where you can analyze the standard deviation, correlation, coefficient, etc. and can be used for analytical reviews. I have used a small little memory code which will help you to remember this from an examination perspective because this is one of the commonly asked examination question. And the memory code is triple P A double S. It is slightly similar to the word pass with an extra S and two extra P's. Policy, Profiling, Performance, Application, System Exception and Statistical Sample. We have now looked into three methodologies of concurrent and continuous audit 